Hello and welcome to my video. Here's how to start playing Wild Horse Islands. First thing you should do is craft a lasso. Click the bag at the bottom, then craft, then open the lasso's menu. Select the wooden lasso and if you have the needed materials, click craft. Equip your lasso by opening the equipment tab in your bag. The better materials you have the better lasso you can make, and the quicker you can catch horses. Speaking of catching horses, To lasso a horse just click on it while your lasso is equipped. The number on the horse shows how many times you have to click. Like I said earlier, getting better lassos will make this much easier. Catching a horse uses up your lasso so you'll have to make a new one. Open your inventory and select the horse you just caught. Click follow or ride. You can see more information about your horse by clicking the stats. Quarter horses and Appaloosas have a low value so it's good to sell them and get money for better items. Do this by going over to Larry's. Having coins lets you buy rare horses, accessories, die, carts, and other things. Quests are also a good way to get money and XP. Each island except for RP has a quest NPC. Doing a certain amount of quests for Toby will give you a fishing rod and faulty fireworks. Jones will give you a treasure finding shovel. One of the best ways to level up fast and unlock new islands is by farming. I grew apples, then sold the apples plus the horses I caught to upgrade my farm and repeated the process to max my level. Purchase seeds from Henry, make sure you get the seeds not just the apples. Go to your personal island by heading to the docks and, talking to William, click can you take me to a private island option. Your island will always be at the top. I've maxed out my barn, pen, and farm so yours will look a bit different but it works the same. Store items in your cabinet to free up inventory space. Upgrading your barn and pen allow you to keep more horses. Horses can be stored in the cabinet as well.
Equip your seeds and click the empty spaces in the planters. It will take a while to grow but gives you about 180 XP when harvested. Any plant will give you XP but apples give the most. Click to harvest. You can also tame your horses and max their stats by visiting Steven. Some horses have naturally higher stats than others. Henry will have seeds for your farm and food for your horses, Feeding and caring for your horses will raise your bond. Sweetie sells dye and lets you style your horse's mane and tail. I already have some baby blue dye so, let's use it on my Clydesdale. To dye your horse, equip the dye from the equipment, while the horse who you want to dye is following you. Click anywhere on the screen and choose which to dye. This uses up the dye. Looking good if I do say so myself. Styling has pretty much the same process. Select horse, choose what style you'd like, and pay. Some horse breeds have hairstyles unique only to them. I like the style I have now so I won't change it. Now to Abby we go. Abby has accessories for you to dress up your horse in. All the shops regularly change out so check it, and you can get some really cute stuff. Let's see if we can dress him up a bit maybe. Click tack and accessories in your horse menu to equip your items. Most of my accessories and tack are already equipped to other horses, hun. Maybe this? Yeah, no, that's not it. Um, this? I don't know I'll have to get him some more, stuff later let's move on lol. Charlie sells carts and wagons that, you can drive around in. They can be kinda pricey but you can get ones that, match your horse so that's cool. Before you can equip a wagon or cart you first need to, have on a driving harness. Scroll all the way down to find the vehicles section. I got this cool stagecoach during the Halloween event and haven't really had a chance to try it out. It looks like it would match so let's see. Okay loving it. The same controls are used for driving the cart as are, used for riding the horse, except you can't go very fast. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. 
Can you say zero privacy? Let's talk a bit about breeding now. Breed your horses to get special unique outcomes and cross goats. Go talk to Francine at the breeding center and click I want a foal. Click the green plus to select a mare and a stallion on the designated sides. I'm gonna do a bay brindle and a red roan blanket. It will show you the chance for the coat and breed combination at the bottom. It costs coins to breed and the rarer the horses the more expensive. Cross your fingers. Wow okay this is a good example of my luck and how bad it is 3. Definitely not worth a thousand coins sorry sir. The parent horses will have a cool down of about 2 days before they can be bred again. There will also be a 5 minute cooldown before you can breed any other horses. Francine has her own separate shop where you can buy little goodies. Mining is also a great way to get money and XP. Mountain and jungle are the best to find ores and gemstones. They can be sold or used to upgrade your tack. On certain islands there are hidden locked doors that will open randomly for 15 minutes. I know a little trick to get into them whenever I want though. First thing you want to do is ram your horse straight into it. Really make sure you're right up against it. Go to emotes under your your horse's menu and have him sit. Dismount but don't move from where you're standing. Now you need to equip the water bucket in your equipment tab and tap your horse. Absolute magic wow. His menu will show through the door so just ride him and ta-da, you're in. All sorts of ores and gems spawn in these places so happy mining. To get out, just repeat the process or reset. That should be everything, I hope you found it useful. Everything was really confusing for me when I first started, and I kinda wanted to help other people not struggle like I did lol. Wild Horse Islands has a wiki page which has a bunch of information on the different breeds and their rarity, plus other really useful stuff. I highly recommend checking it out. When trading, everyone has their own idea of value and preferences so please don't harass others lol. At this point the game is almost a year old so it's pretty new, still but has some amazing people who work hard on it. Enjoy playing Wild Horse Islands and yeah, have a good day or night.